Hi my beautiful Geminis and welcome to my channel. This is going to be your September the 4th until the 11th, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. So for those of you guys that are new, welcome to my channel and those of you guys that are returning, I'm so glad to have you back. If you're new and you haven't yet subscribed, feel free to hit that subscribe button. It and or sorry. And for those of you that want a personal reading, my website is in the description box below. You can also check out my Instagram there as well. So I'm going to start off with your tarot and then I'm going to pull you guys some oracle cards, all right? So let's see, what can we get for the beautiful Geminis? And I want to thank you guys for all your views last, um, last week. That was crazy. I was wondering where all the Geminis were, but um, I was so happy and also all of you guys who got personal readings from me because I had more Gemini personals than ever and it was so cool to connect with you guys. Yeah. All right, so let's see. Geminis from the 4th until the 11th. What can we get for my beautiful Geminis? Show me what Geminis need to see from the 4th until the 11th. King of Cups. Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. There's somebody that feels so much emotions for you, but they're not able to express them. There's somebody, for some of you, somebody's unsure how you feel and they don't want to express themselves until you make the first move. Because they don't want to lose you. They don't want to risk losing you in their life. You don't want to move as fast as they do, or this could be a friend. Queen of Wands, yeah, this person finds you, they think you're fire. Like, this person thinks you are so attractive. This person thinks you're so sexy. If you haven't been intimate with this person already, they can't stop thinking about it. They can't. This person finds you so alluring. And and even if, if you have been intimate with them, when you wake up, there's something about when you just wake up, you know, when you just wake up, it takes, like, a couple seconds for some people to, like, really, you know, get going. You're not really, you don't, you're not caring how you look, you know, you're not thinking about any of that. And this person just finds you so, I feel like this person thinks that you look the best when you just, like when you just woke up. This is somebody that likes, if you've um, slept with them already, if you're dating this person, this is somebody that likes to um, watch you sleep. Yeah, this person likes to watch you sleep, but this person is very attracted to you intimately they want to be with you if they haven't already if they have they find you to be the better than anybody that they've been with before that is something i'm getting really strongly um you guys have a very spiritual connection a very very soulful connection but this person knows that you attract a lot of people they see that you attract a lot of people and um you're very you know Gemini. So I feel like this person, you know, they, they might find your energy to be a little bit flirty, even if it's not. This is somebody who's very controlling. Um, you could definitely be dealing with a Scorpio. If you're dealing with a Scorpio, um, like this person fully wants to possess you. I'm not sure what sign you're dealing with, but there's somebody that really just wants to possess you. It's like they want you all to themselves. All right, Geminis, what else can we get? Let me see, I'm so curious about this person now. Ace of Swords, victory, this is a great love. You have somebody that has clarity on the fact that you are the one for them. This is your person getting clarity on the fact that they're in love with you. This is, you know, clear cut communication. Your person could straight out be telling you that they're in love with you this week with the King of Cups. It's like they're finally um, expressing how they feel towards you. It's going to lead to victory. It's going to lead to success between the two of you guys. They have something to tell you. This is beautiful, you guys. This is somebody that's very sweet, but only with you. You and their mother. And you might remind them of their mother or of their father. All right, so we have the Page of Wands and the Eight of Hazards. <clears throat> so yeah, it does look like they're definitely going to be, you know, they're going to get clarity and this is them reaching out to you. This is them messaging you. So they're definitely going to be sending you a passionate message. This person wants to tell you how they feel about you. This is a message that's going to give you butterflies in your stomach. This is a message that you're definitely going to take a screenshot of, um, you know, send it in your group chat kind of thing and with the eight of hazards this is you guys building a strong stable foundation together this is you guys seeing where you guys are going this is you guys working on your future working on building that strong stable foundation 
this is a relationship that you're going to get a lot out of, right? Um, not saying that we need to be in relationships to get things from people, but it's like, this is a relationship where you're, you're good, you're balanced, they're good, they're balanced, but you guys benefit each other. So it's really good. All right. Gemini, Gemini, Gemini. Should we, oh. So we have the two of hazards. So it looks like there's going to be, you know, there's going to be a lot of things that you're going to have to handle right now, especially with you embracing this queen of wands energy. It's like a lot of people are attracted to you and a lot of opportunities are attracted to you. There's a lot of things in your life that you have to kind of, you know, take care of, but it's like, you're going to be mastering that. You're going to be taking care of it and balancing out things really well. Others of you are adapting to a new change in your life. Or trying to adapt and adjust to this person being very expressive. Once they tell you they love you, the whole relationship changes. And it's exactly what you want. But at the same time, it's just like, you know, it's like you may even look at this person like they're somebody else. Like you're just so confused as to how they could have held all this in this whole time. Okay, that's too many. Gemini, Gemini. The world. So for some of you, this person could live at a distance. This could be, um, this could be somebody who lives far from you, somebody that you need to travel to see. This person could be traveling towards you. Um, you could be, some of you could be dealing with a fixed sign, a Leo, um, Taurus, Scorpio, or Aquarius. It's like this person sees you as their world. It's like you guys complete each other. It's so beautiful. Like you can see them like kissing. It's like the, the whole, like the destruction of the whole world, but they don't even care because they're just so in love. So when you're with this person, nothing else matters. It doesn't matter. There could be a bomb that just went off, you know, and especially when you guys are intimate, when you guys are intimate, it's just the two of you guys. Like it's so spiritual. It's so consuming. It's so one, like the two of you are one. I, I really feel like this is your soulmate. Some of you, this could be a twin flame. We have the seven of swords. So if there was some sort of energy of betrayal, energy of not being honest between the two of you guys, that's coming to an end here with the world and the seven of swords. It's like whatever wasn't going right between this relationship, whatever isn't going, you know, correct is ending in order for you guys to begin a new cycle. So that cycle is coming to an end. And for some of you, this energy is your own or it's their own. Somebody, you know, this could be an energy of self-sabotaging a relationship. You know, something, thinking something's too good to be true or being afraid because you're getting everything you always wanted and now you don't know how to act kind of thing. Second doubting. Second guessing. No. And where did that card go? This one. So we have the 10 of wands and the four of hazards here. So this is, you know, whatever it was, that energy that felt too much is definitely an ending. And I honestly feel like it wasn't a betrayal. I'm really thinking like this is the ending of somebody within their head, somebody's fear, somebody's, you know, scared, or somebody feels like there's a lot of competition. And this could be your friend. Like I said, feeling like there's competition with you having this queen of wands energy. It's like, there's an ending to that. If this person feels burdened because they just kind of want you to themselves, there's an ending to that because they're going to give you an offer. But if this is you feeling like that, you're going to end, you know, that feeling because this person is expressing their feelings towards you. And then the end result is you guys holding on to each other. You guys possess one another this person wants to possess you 100 <clears throat> percent. i would not be surprised if you're dealing with um like a taurus a scorpio a uh, capricorn but the only energies i have here are you guys don't have any majors so i'm going to pull you guys um i'll pull for scorpio and i'll pull for the fixed signs all right, so if you're a Gemini dealing with a Scorpio, Gemini is dealing with Scorpio. <clears throat> oh, Four of Swords. So if you're dealing with a Scorpio, I feel like you're going to be... If 
you're dealing with a Scorpio who hasn't expressed themselves, I feel like you're going to be pulling back a little bit in order for them to express themselves. And if there's healing that needs to be done, I see healing being like healing that's going to happen between the two of you guys. Eight of Cups. Yeah, definitely a lot of healing. Um, you guys are moving towards a better time, making lifestyle changes, changing things in your life. And for some of you, you may be walking away from a Scorpio. All right. If you're dealing with a Leo, Gemini is dealing with a Leo. Page of Cups. So if you're dealing with a Leo, they have a, um, a message that they want to give you. They're offering you love. Uh, for some of you, this is a Leo that is admiring you from afar. This could be a younger person or somebody that is at a distance from you. If you're dealing with an Aquarius, Gemini is dealing with an Aquarius. Six of Cups. So if you're dealing with a, um, an Aquarius, there could be a reconciliation coming, a message of love. This person could be coming to give you a gift, but I feel you two expressing your love towards each other, and this is definitely a soulmate energy here. All right, and Gemini is dealing with a Taurus. Gemini is dealing with Taurus. Whoa. All right. So we have Justice in Reverse, Five of Cups, and the Ten of Coins. So if you're dealing with a Taurus, it looks like things aren't going to go in your favor and you're going to be thinking about the past, thinking about how things didn't go in your favor. Um, <clears throat> you know, you could know why it could be that it's not supposed to go in your favor just because of things that you've done. So this is like your karma kind of thing. But otherwise, it's like this isn't going in your favor because your 10 of coins is somewhere else. Your 10 of coins isn't with this person. So yes, you are going to be spending a lot of time you know, maybe two to three months feeling sad about this ending, but it's ultimately for, for the best because this 10 of um, coins energy, you're going to be able to see this once you do heal from this. All right. So let me pull you guys some oracles. Let me get for Gemini's. Lots of emotions being expressed all over this reading. So your hard work is paying off. New moon in Capricorn. And take time to breathe out. So you're going to start to see your hard work pay off. You're going to, if there's something you're putting a lot of your time into, you're going to realize that it's paying off. And maybe you can take a little bit of a break now or, you know, slow down a little bit. Not, not a lot, but just, just a little bit. Or make sure that you're, you know, balancing out as hard as you're working. Make sure that you're doing something for yourself as well. Do a little bit of self-care kind of thing. You know, I want you guys to... Write down something in the comments below. Just write down one thing that you're going to do this week to take care of yourself. One thing you're going to do to take time for yourself. One thing you're going to do to just kind of take a break and enjoy some time. Something that you've wanted to do for a while and you, you know, you've pushed it aside or whatever. You know what? This week is your week and that's what you're going to do. So um, that's what I have for that one. And then we have relationships. I'm attracted to those people who serve my higher good, which is absolutely true, especially if this is, you know, um, this whole... Five of Cups, like this whole energy, if you're dealing with a Taurus, it's like that's because this person isn't aligned with your highest good and it's making room for somebody to come in who is. And then abundance, yeah. I'm a limitless being and I can manifest whatever I desire in the physical reality. There's a huge energy here where I'm feeling like you guys are really cutting out things that don't serve you and just trying to make your life filled with things that only make you happy. Very abundant energy here. But yeah, so that's what I have for you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this reading. If you did, um, my website is in the description box below if you wanted a personal reading. And if you would like to subscribe, feel free. That is always greatly appreciated. I love you guys so much. And I will see you guys next week. Bye, my loves.